Hi, this is JB from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another playthrough of the Edge of the Earth campaign. And this time we are at the question mark scenario Fatal Mirage. So during the interlude, the last night, uh, after determining uh, which expedition members we talked to, we were forced to play this scenario at this point of the campaign. Uh, some other uh, scenarios, results, night course you play this uh, scenario earlier and multiple times during the campaign but I think we've done that well we haven't lost that many expedition members so it only came up at this point so between the city of the elder guards and the uh, last scenario which is a two-parter also um, just a couple of uh, notes uh, I have been recording these in bun uh, a bunch at a time so I missed some uh, play errors I have been making so um, when I have the story assets in play it doesn't come with the um, uh, dedicated um, item assets that it has or the uh, um, dedicated card so I have been playing that wrong so now as I have Cookie in play it, Cookie doesn't have the revolver with him uh, it, it is only that, that you put the uh, ally into play not the item. Also, I have been playing a forced learning incorrectly. This uh, was pointed out to me in a discussion that when you uh, flip the two cards, uh, you have to pick one, discard the other, but the weaknesses don't get picked, they just resolve. So you have to resolve them and then you only can uh, discard one card. So you have to discard the other. So I have been playing that quite wrong, so I will be playing that correctly from now on. And uh, uh, yeah, so I think this will be a <laughs> brutal end of the campaign because I have so many Tekelili cards in the deck. So when they come out, I have to resolve them and we'll see how that goes. But it is what it is. Uh, new cards uh, <clears throat> force me to make game errors because uh, I am filming this nearly out of the box and not, I haven't been playing with them that much, so uh, misplays are bound to happen. But it is life and I don't really care because this is my game and I can play it however I want. So just if you want to play it by the book, those are the errors I have been making. And uh, uh, well, let's look what uh, we got for the results from the interlude. So I talked to Kuki. Uh, Kuki gave me another bonus experience. So I had six to spend between the scenarios. And then I talked to Taka, uh, Takeda. Uh, Takeda gave me plus two resources for the next scenario, but not for this one. So I only have five for this scenario. And uh, then I talked to Roland and uh, I marked that the investigator secured the... Uh, uh, yeah, the investigators secured the fort uh, or search, um, searched the forked passage. Whatever that means, I think that matters in the next scenario, but not in this one. So I used the six experience to make an upgrade to the deck so let's look at arkhamdb.com uh, what i changed in the deck okay and we are over on arkhamdb.com the only change into the deck was that i removed the backpacks i think they are a bit slow and i have plenty of choices coming out and forced learning again gives me good card draw so searching with the backpacks is maybe not necessary and uh, I decided to try out the new uh, multi-class or multi-class uh, ally for uh, seekers and rogues uh, Jean Beauregard <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> she boosts our main uh, 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 traits intellect and agility also uh, it, uh, she has a really powerful uh, ability, uh, so I think if we get a chance to play her, we are going to play her instead of, for example, Leon de Luca. But we'll see how that goes, but I think this is a decent card 
for 3 XP. Of course, the cost of 5 is a bit high, but I think we are okay with that. And uh, that was all the changes into the deck. Uh, I have done the setup for the scenario. There is only one location at the start. Uh, how this location works is that all of these location cards have story text on the back side, so they come into play revealed. And uh, well, the um, point is that they have this Mirage uh, number, so this has Mirage 1 per investigator. So we have to spend clues per investigator how much the Mirage value is to flip it over and resolve the text behind to unlock more locations and uh, progress the scenario. We have only one act and uh, agenda. Uh, agenda has uh, fast trigger the ability, take a horror, and uh, move back to the uh, prison of memories. Then our goal is to confront your demons to strengthen your resolve, and uh, that basically means that we might get to upgrade our expedition members. But I think that is everything I need to say before we start, so let's get started. So we are ready to start by uh, drawing our opening hand. So let's see, no weaknesses, we get a uh, rod of animalism, sled dog, shortcut, uh, breaking and entering and start ahead. Uh, because we don't have that many locations, I'm keeping the uh, rod of animalism, uh, sled dogs and breaking and entering and uh, mulliganing those two. Uh, we get weaknesses which get mulliganed, uh, we get Beyond chart and uh, Frosty and Bargain. Okay, uh, well, I think we will play the Beyond chart because that is just a really good card. We might need to get some resources with the Frosty and Bargain. Then uh, I, I think I'm just playing the Sled Dogs to soak up damage because there are some Tekalili cards that cause damage. And horror, so we need to have some soak in play, so we are not hit by that uh, with those that badly. But we'll see, it will be a build up turn for sure. Uh, first up, we'll play the heal chart. Second action, we will play sled dogs. Just taking the resources here. Uh, last action, we'll play the Postian Bargain and grab five resources so that we can play other stuff next turn. And that is our whole turn. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we didn't move, we don't get any Monterey Jack's abilities, so we draw two cards and we pick one, and I'm picking the Nimble. Uh, I mean, I'm picking the nimble, not discarding it. I think the shortcut is not that useful, at least at the start, and we gain one resource. So, that was the first turn. Uh, yeah, we need secrets on to the Aeon charts. And let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom, so the threshold is 15. Encounter card is uh, Lost Researcher. One fight. 1 health, 1 agility. Humanoid possessed, spawn any location empty if able. Lost researcher enters play with 1 doom on it. When lost researcher is defeated, move each doom on it, on its, uh, onto its location. Fall a test, uh, will or intellect tree. If you succeed, take control of 1 doom on the lost researcher and flip it to its clue side. Then if there is no doom on lost researcher, discard it. So I'm thinking I'm falling it to get the free clue, and that is the first action. Uh, I am not spending anything, I'm using intellect. Uh, so, four versus one. Uh, four versus three, I mean. Uh, well, I, I'll go five versus three, so I'm two up. I'm uh, committing the rod of animalism. It is a minus one, so we are able to uh, transfer this to a clue, and this gets discarded. Second action, I am just investigating, and the shroud here is uh, 
uh, the current agenda number, so it's one. So four versus one. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, using the EM charity yet. So. Zero. Uh, we get one clue. Last action. We will investigate four versus one. Cross token. Minus two. So four versus. Or we still succeed. That is that. Um, and um, the using of the Mirage action is uh, of fast trigger ability. And we can uh, spend these clues. So I'm uh, using one clue to flip this. So there's a bunch of fluff text. I recommend you read it um, when you play it yourself. Uh, choose one, uh, put the set aside base camp location into play, or put the set aside deck of Theodosia location into play, uh, put the set aside university hall location into play, discard back over. Uh, let's see, I think I will put the deck of Theodosia. Sounds interesting. And. Uh, there are three clues there. It is connected here. And that is some whole turn. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw two cards. I am picking uh, a magnifying glass and discarding the survey area. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we get a doom, and comfort for this turn is <laughs> another lost researcher. So, I think this will be quite a repeat of the last turn. So, we are trying to parlay uh, 4 versus 3. So, now we don't have any boost, so hoping to get lucky. Uh, we are only up by 1, but it is the Elder Sign, so we managed to get a Pretty cool from that guy, and that guy is discarded, so getting a bit lucky with those. Uh, now I'm using the Eon chart because I want to grab this last blue and uh, I will do an investigate and move. So, first, uh, we'll fast play the magnifying class into play. So, oh, yeah, we don't even spend an action because this is also a fast trigger ability. We exhaust this first. Investigate five versus one. Skull is the number of cards in the victory display, which is zero. So we grab this clue and we get the free move. Um, and I think I'm immediately spending one to check what's underneath this card. So again. Text and choose one. Follow Cookies Memories. Put the set aside coastal waters location to play. Uh, we can follow Ellsworth's memories. We can follow Claypool's memories. But I'm uh, happy with uh, advancing uh, Cookies Memories because I'm using that uh, asset a lot. So we follow Cookies Memories, uh, but we have to put the coastal waters location in. Play. And here is the cost of waters. And this is connected to both of these, so just using uh, the location markers so we can double back. Oh, yeah, it's a one way location. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so we can get back to Prison of Memories. And uh, to the actually, we can't even get back to here. I think there's a misprint here because this is connected to this same location. So, 
Well, we are playing how the card reads, but I think that is a misprint. Just double checking. It says uh, coastal waters location. Yeah. But uh, it is not connected back, and there, this has the wrong symbol on it. Or this has it uh, the wrong symbol. I, I don't know. But this is what it is. Might be a misprint. And uh, uh, let's see. There are four clues here, so uh, a lot. I think we are heading there, investigating a lot. So. Uh, we ignore this one. So, fourth, when you investigate deck of Theodosia, you must either give plus two shroud for this investigation or spend one additional action. I think we're happy with these clues and we're just moving on. So, uh, we will move. But yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll move here, and last action we'll just investigate, and I'm investigating. So, pause. after you reveal a cost token while investigating cost of water, take one horror. If this investigation is successful, discover one additional clue at coastal water. So, if we hit a frost token and succeed, we get two clues. So that's nice. <laughs> kind of. So, uh, we are investigating uh, five versus two. And it is a skull, and it is a zero, so we grab one clue. And that is our turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we moved two locations. But, uh, are we only... We are only one away from where we started, so I think I'm getting a card. Another Eon chart. Then we'll go to upkeep, we ready up. We draw two cards. I'll pick the field work and we gain our resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, 3 of 15. Encounter card is another enemy. I think we are hitting all of the enemies for some reason, but well, it is what it is. So mm, uh, horrifying shade, 3 3 3, monster idolon, hello hunter, well. Horrifying Shade is at the location that is cleared of mirages. It loses aloof. Uh, first, after you discover or take control of one or more clues at Horrifying Shade's location, place an equal amount of clues on Horrifying Shade. Okay. So I'm thinking we are not um, getting any clues here. This enemy is aloof. Just marking where it is. Let's just leave it over here. So, <clears throat> uh, before we do anything else, I'm spending two uh, clues because it's Mirage 2 at this location. And uh, uh, location is out of um, out of Mirages when these all locations are in play. Okay, so uh, again, text. Choose one, follow Takada's memories or follow Cookie's memories. I'm following Cookie's memories, put the set aside Ottoman front location in play. Give this card back over. Okay. So uh, we get the Ottomans front. Okay, it's here. And uh, again, this is only connected to. There are a lot of one uh, way locations apparently. So. We go there, and we can go back here. And uh, it has two clues on it. Mirage two. Well, uh, I'm using the Eon chart to move and investigate. We'll move that enemy stays behind, and it uh, well, it has a hunter, so it will follow us. But uh, we or that for now. And uh, I am investigating. Oh no, uh, first I'll play field work as my first action, then I will use the young chart, etc. 
I am investigating, I'm using the field work, so investigating 7 versus 4, here to see up. It is a 0, we'll grab a 2. I will investigate again. 5 versus 4. Uh, frost token. Oh yeah, while well, James Cookie predicts at, is at this location, he is, so it gets minus 2 sprout, so we are actually investigating 5 versus 2. Uh, now, 5 versus 3. It is a minus 1, so we still succeed. We'll grab this blue. We'll use the Mirage 2 here. Flip this over. And uh, if Jamie Cook's free tricks is alive, spawn the set aside memory of Ravage Country enemy at this location. Okay, we'll get an enemy. So, memory of Ravage Country is a 5 fight, 3 health per investigator, and 3 evade monster, idol, and elite. Retaliate, pray, investigator with James Cook, if free tricks. Uh, after this enemy attacks you, deal with 1 damage. Post when this enemy is defeated, flip it over and resolve the text on its other side. So these also have uh, story text on the other side. And uh, uh, we ha still have one action. And I'm using cookie. So. Each non elite. Okay. Doesn't affect this one, it's an elite. So we are uh, fighting 5 versus 5. Nothing to boost the attack with, so just hoping to hit a 0 or something. A frost token, uh, so we fail, but we'll see if we get an additional, well, auto fail. So this enemy has retaliate and it attacks, so it also gets one damage, but it deals two damage, one horror. I'm putting the horror on the dog. And then we are out of actions. We'll go to the enemy phase, so this enemy actually hunts here. And there are no clues, so it loses a loof. Uh, while horror, uh, okay, so it hits one damage and one horror. I'm taking it on myself. Then this hits. So, oh yeah, oh, let's see. Yeah, uh, so this hits, uh, I'll put uh, one damage and one horror on the sled dog, so bye bye sled dog. And that is the enemy phase, and no other enemies, we'll go to upkeep, be ready up. Uh, we'll draw two cards. Uh, we get unexpected courage and inter report. At the moment, I need the unexpected courage to be able to hit this, and we gain one resource. And we moved, so I'm gaining a resource. Because I already took cards. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. 4 of 15. Encounter card is uh, Frenzied Explorer. So. Uh, Forensic uh, Explorer is a 2 fight, 2 health and 2 evade, humanoid possessed. Forensic Explorer enters play with 1 doom on it. Uh, when Forensic Explorer is defeated, move each doom on it, it to its location. After you successfully evade Forensic Explorer by 2 or more, the control of 1 or of one doom on Forensic Explorer and flip it to its clue side. Then if there are no doom on Forensic Explorer, discard it. So we are just evading this enemy. Mm. 
So <laughs> I think this turn will be hit to defeat it, evade, evade, and the last evade will just uh, use the nimble, I think. So first we'll attack with cool keep. I'm uh, using the unexpected courage, so we are fighting five. Uh, Five versus uh, seven versus five. Hoping to hit and kill this off. It is a frost token, uh, so we are only one off. And it is a zero, so we succeed. So this enemy is defeated, so we flip it over. Uh, a bunch of story texts in your camp along record. Kuki has confronted his demons. Draw a check mark next to his name in the expedition team section. From now on, whenever James, Kuki, Frederick is included or used during a scenario, use the set aside resolute version instead of the version of the expedition team encounter set. If he is currently in play, switch him with a version now. So, <clears throat> we will. Switch uh, Cookie to this version. So just to quickly look, uh, he has one more health, and uh, this effect changes a bit. So now we hit with a skill of six, and that is it. So it's a bit a better version of uh, Cookie. So this is not used anymore. I think the token stay. Uh, it doesn't say, but. I'm playing as they are. Then, at this card in the victory display, the investigators made advanced current act or continue playing. I'm continuing playing, but I'm spending two clues to flip this. Uh, Crossed out. How did it say? Where did I put the enemy here? No. Ah. I'm blind. Where is it? Did I, did I put it back here already? No. Ah, oh, it's in the victory display, of course. Mm. Yeah, we don't cross out cookie. Okay, so I, I think I'm uh, resigning because we have two enemies. Um, we don't have a bunch of we, we have a bunch of time left, but I think we are better off just uh, ending the scenario here without getting any without getting defeated and be happy with this. So call me chicken, but I am resigning here. Or advance this so uh, story text uh, deeper memories uh, we get a resolution one so let's check uh, resolution one is there a difference uh, in the fatal uh, mirage section of the camp log under memories banished record each story card in the victory display its investigators experience equal to the victory x value of each card recorded in this way uh, in the Fatal Mirage section of the campaign log, under Memories Discovered, this record each non other world location in play. We have to record uh, non other world locations. Okay. If there are any other non story cards in the victory display, work the victory X, each investor earns experience equal to the, that amount. So, wait a minute. Okay, so. So if some enemies give you victory, for example, I think. In the expedition team section of the camp log record the amount of damage and or its partner asset is in play none. Proceed to the next scenario of the campaign in num numerical order as follows. So the last scenario we played was the City of the Elder Things. We continue the scenario for the heart of madness. So uh, that was Fatal Mirage. Uh, it ca could be a lot longer, but I think we were getting swarmed with the enemies, and uh, we already taken a bunch of damage. And I feel like 
it is better to play it safe. We uh, have a ton of weaknesses here, so it uh, might get really bad really fast. So this card actually says that uh, on, uh, hint you may have more than one opportunity to advance this act. Until then, you are trapped. If you are running out of time and are given the chance to advance, consider taking it. So I'm taking it, and that is that. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Um, next up, we have the double heart scenario in, uh, in the Heart of Madness, so look forward to that. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.